words prefabricated home or barn dominium might elicit a less than positive mental image and possibly even a negative response. But where do these come from? And why is all the excitement shrouded in lies, myths, and misinformation? Welcome back. Today we will debunk five of the biggest lies you might have been told about prefab barn dominiums and prefabricated homes at large. Some prefab homes of the past have left a bad connotation and there are myths and lies that are outdated for modern technology and the strides the market has made in creating something new. Things have changed in the last few years, and if you aren't already looking into a prefab pad of your own, you might want to after today's video. Make sure you watch till the end, and let's get into it. 1. Prefab homes are a nightmare to insure. The truth is, it's no more complicated than any other traditional home. It's just a little different than you might be used to. This usually comes from the understanding that manufactured homes are more difficult to insure and the insurance is generally a bit more expensive. You're not typically able to insure them while they're being transported, built, set, and finished. But the coverage is the same as traditional homes. This includes dwelling and personal property coverage and liability protection. HO3 policies are the most common type, which are all risks coverage for the home. They cover your home, add its replacement cost, and your personal property at cash value. These protect against any losses that are not explicitly excluded. This is pretty all-encompassing, but you can always customize your policy even with quirky offbeat homes like these. The bottom line is they aren't a nightmare. You might just have to parse through a little more paperwork than you're used to. 2. Prefab homes don't hold their resale value. Prefab barn dominiums depreciate immediately after they're built. So the actual term prefabricated home is where this myth came from, at least the strange lesser vibe that the term comes with. Whether or not it was true when the term first came into the general lexicon is unclear. It's definitely not true now and likely hasn't been true any time since the mid 90s to be frank. With insane tech-based advancements in construction and building, prefabricated is the build process to beat. These components are built and constructed in temperature-controlled environments and can go up in as short as weeks, if not just days. These homes are, in turn, built with high-quality, top-grade materials, meaning they stand the test of time. People who say this have a mindset where they're stuck in the past. They don't realize just how much prefab homes and barn dominions can really stand to offer and just how strong these offbeat and interesting options truly are in a sea of bland, cookie-cutter dwellings. People like new, and that's probably why you're looking into barn dominiums to begin with, right? A fresh take, a fresh start, all your own, in style, build, and more. 3. Prefab homes and barn dominiums won't work with my HOA. The truth is, every HOA and HOA leader is a little different. There's no hard and fast rule regarding whether or not HOAs will allow prefabricated homes. However, many places will allow you to have one if it's built on location rather than shipped in pre-built, while others simply require you to place the home on a foundation. Checking with your individual HOA rules and guidelines will make this a straightforward process. And if there isn't anything outlined, it never hurts to ask. Prefab barn dominiums come in all shapes, sizes, and styles meaning even the pickiest of HOAs could also work for your new home. With the right coat of paint, an add-on garage, and a solid foundation, anything is possible. 4. Prefab homes and barn dominiums are cheaply made to be more affordable. Nobody wants a cheap home. Less, sure, but cheap? This makes it sound like it's made using subpar materials, making it cheap to buy, but it won't last. The thing is, often due to the streamlined nature of these builds, they can be built with higher grade material and constructed quickly with less labor, causing costs to be lower. They aren't cheap in the way you might want to think. They're less expensive than their traditional home counterparts, costing roughly 10 to 35% less than a regular or more traditional home build for a lot of reasons, but often it's simply because they're streamlined and straightforward to produce. This savings frees up the buyer's budget to purchase land, customize that floor plan, or save it. While they're less expensive than traditional homes, that doesn't necessarily mean they are cheap. 
However, with prefab options, you often make a less expensive lifestyle choice, but a more eco-friendly one. And what part of that sounds cheap? What you pay for is what you get. While some prefab barn dominiums can be a lifesaver on your budget, sometimes it pays to put in a little extra to get some of the bells and whistles when buying your possible forever home. 5. It's impossible to finance prefab homes and barn dominiums. Finally, the most pressing issue for many is financing. It's nice to be able to afford a home, but most people won't have the money just sitting in their bank ready to go. Much of this confusion comes from mobile homeowners' difficulties in financing their space as they rapidly depreciate. Not all prefab homes and barn dominiums are built the same, but they aren't the same as a mobile home. In some cases, financing for prefabricated homes is more straightforward and easy to finance than a traditional home. Working directly with your bank and manufacturers whom your bank is familiar with can go leaps and bounds in making it easier all around. Never underestimate the ability of modern lenders to make just about anything work, or their desire to get you into the home and contract of your dreams. With all the lies, misinformation, you might find online, it always helps to get a little perspective otherwise. If you're used to traditional home buying or have a traditional mindset when it comes to home buying, then you might be daunted by all there is to learn and try. However, is new really all that bad? This is an all-new adventure, and it'll keep you on your toes every step of the way. The accessibility and affordability of prefabricated and modular homes are unmatched, and you too could escape the humdrum of renting or the massive bill of a traditional dwelling. And if you liked this video and want to see more like it, show your love with a like below, and subscribe to the channel for more fabulous finds.